The video will focus on y equals bx plus c. In other words, this is a linear equation where b and c are constants. b is denoted as the slope and c as the y-intercept when x is equal to zero. x is usually called the abscissa and y is called the range. All right. So we'll see uh, what are the effects on the graph when we vary c. When we substitute for one, we see that the line is a horizontal line at y equal 1. Now when, when c equals negative 1, it goes uh, to negative 1 right here. And as we vary, we can see the effect of c is to raise or lower this line, this horizontal line. So that's the effect of c. Well, what about vertical lines? Well, it's hard to develop vertical lines here. And in this case, what we could do is let's set c equal to 0 and uh, we'll take a look at B, the effects of B, and then we can fi figure out how we can draw a vertical line. But basically B is the slope again, where we have a one slope, a slope of one right here. In other words, for every, and it passes through the origin. So because we have Z equals zero, and when X is zero, Y is also equal zero. So when you substitute X equals zero, Y is zero, okay? So here's a slope of 1, so for every horizontal unit to the right, we go up one unit. And so this has a slope of positive 1. And a slope of uh, other positive slopes, here's a slope of 2. So for every one unit going to the right, we go two units up. Okay, so that's our slope. Now let's look at the negative slope, negative 2. And you see it's the opposite. We go one unit to the left and two units up. So that's, that's the effect of the negative slope. Or one unit to the right and two units down. Okay, And this is constant no matter where you are at this line. So every one unit anywhere we go to the right, we go two units down. That has a negative slope. So let's look at the vertical line. So a vertical line... Um, is not possible with this graph right now, but if we take b to be a very large number, let's make it like a 1 again, you see that slope. And then as we increase that value to 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 10, then 20, and then let's go to 99, we start to make it zero because as you s see here when B is very large and we divide B on both sides of this equation Y divided by B is equal to X so when B is very large X goes close to zero and that's basically what we have here is a line of zero so if X is equal to one then X would be a vertical line right here X equals two would be a vertical line right here. All right, so that's the equation of uh, for a linear case where b and c are constant. B is the slope, and c is the y-intercept. Now let's look at the effects of both b and c. Well, let's zero it out again, zero, and then we'll highlight c here. All right, so let's take a slope of negative one. Okay, that's the red line. If we highlight it here, uh, that's our slope of negative 1. And if we raise and lower, you could see the red line rises and lower, lower according to C. Okay, so for example right here, let's say C is equal to 1. Okay. C is equal to 1, and this has a negative slope. So the blue line here is for C equal to 1. The green line is for BX equals negative 1. Now when we add this two line, we could see at the origin that the green line is 0, and the blue line for C equal 1 is equal to 1. But when we add these two, lines, the blue line and the green line, we have the red line. 
So this is a combination of two lines, one with a slope and one without uh, the slope or a constant line. Okay. So again, the effect of C is to raise and lower the line with the slope. Likewise, if I change the slope to a positive case, okay, positive and negative slope, so here's the positive slope, notice the effect is the same thing. So we'll put this at positive 1, okay, and we'll put this at, at C at 1, and so you see here the line B with the slope of 1 passes through the origin again. You have a horizontal line at y equal 1, and when you add these two, look at at 0, you got 0 plus 1, and we have this red line here. Okay, when at here, uh, the slope, when we go negative 1 right here, and then we have a negative 1 here. So negative 1 plus 1 in the blue line yields a 0 uh, of y here at x equals negative 1. So when you substitute negative 1 right here, negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And that's it for the linear equation for this graph.